dude. Holy shit. Kinda looks insane, dude. Hello, all you beautiful people. I hope you have had or are having a fantastic day. If you look behind me, dude, not the usual setup. We will say that. Uh, I'm outside, dude. Finally eased down some of the restrictions. Not that any of you care, uh, but I thought I might share it with you guys. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of a chill video. We're gonna talk about some of the things that I took away from the MYP. For those of you who do not know, once again, I am solid, I'm 16. I just finally, as of the 21st of May, finished the MYP course for good. Coronavirus canceled our exams, so a lot of people are happy, a lot of people aren't happy. Essentially, what we're gonna be talking about today is some of the things that I took away from the MYP, with the first one being that I absolutely took away every single one of the IB Learner profiles that they ram down your throat all year, every year, for the whole five years. As cliche as it sounds that an NYP student is praising the IB Learner profiles, though I'm not praising the IB Learner profiles, I just think that some of the values they offer the student are actually pretty decent. You know, you've got your open mind, you've got your risk taker, you've got all sorts of fantastic attributes that you associate with a successful person. And the NYP really reinforces those attributes within you as a learner throughout the whole learning process. All course material, you always look back at the IB Learner profiles. Every single unit, you look back at those IB Learner profiles. And really, throughout all of those five years, you may not even know it, but you are indeed building those IB Learner profiles. I've probably said IB Learner profiles about 8 million times, but guys, they are very important, so don't neglect them, especially during the early stages of your education in year seven. Those are really the building blocks of your personality, and trust me, if you take them on board and try and implement them into your daily life, you will succeed, you will be successful. Implement them into all of your work. Care about everything you do, care about the people around you, have empathy, have integrity, do always be a risk taker, try new things, especially at these young ages. Your brain is malleable, you can consume information like never before, so use this time wisely, guys. Moving on to the second thing that I took away from the NYP, which is arguably the most important one, is how to be a complete investigator and the investigation process as a whole. Trust me, during your humanity studies and during any sort of investigation work, you will be following a set process most of the times that is also malleable to the student's desire. As much as we all hated doing those full-ass investigations, they provided us, us out of the students, with such amazing skills that we can take into the job market and present, use on our curriculum vitae, aka CVs, and really push and strive to be like that when we're working in our own professional fields because those investigation skills, although you might hate them, apply across a wide, and I mean a wide, range of job opportunities. I've known people who've graduated from the MYP, who've graduated from the IB, that have taken these investigation skills and that have been absolutely invaluable when it comes to their jobs. Those skills that they learned when they were teenagers, they're implementing them now. You guys don't take it for granted. Learn these skills, try and develop them as much as possible to your best potential. And you will definitely not regret it because you'll use them a lot later on in life. I've always considered myself a very lucky student because I've had the opportunity to experience multiple educational systems from across the globe. I went to school here in the country I'm in now and to an international school where I've completed the MYP. I can safely say that I'm in the position where I can compare both systems and one outstanding feature of the MYP system is that you meet such incredible international people and it really develops your open-mindedness towards different cultures. For all those MYP students, none of you can say that you haven't met fantastic individuals from across the globe which you have interacted with and learned so much about. It has helped you develop your globalization skills and your overall knowledge of how to be social, how to be a people person. You can't say that it hasn't done that because it really has. Look at the pretty swans! Anyway, back to the topic at hand. You cannot say that being around those people hasn't helped you become a more effective communicator, become a more effective social asset to your community because they really have. You understand how people across the globe think and that is really an outstanding, fantastic feature of the MYP. With local curriculums, you don't really see it as much. It's a very close community of people that are local, people that grew up in that place and it simply doesn't offer the variety that MYP does. Another invaluable thing that I've learned from the MYP that I will carry on for many, many more years to come of my educational journey is that grades 
are malleable. If you get one, one bad math grade on that exam that, you know, was kind of ridiculous, really didn't go your way, maybe you were having a bad day, maybe you were having, you know, a bad hair day that kind of threw you off. So it's really important to know that grades are always malleable. They can always be changed no matter what it is about finding your flaws, refining them and working harder in order to achieve what you want, what you aspire to be later on in life so guys trust me grades can always be changed they are never set they do not determine who you are or how successful you are only you yourself can determine your self-worth people around you they know how valuable you are as an asset to the community so please do not think that one bad grade is going to absolutely ruin your chances of being successful in the future or the outcome of that year because trust me really isn't guys the next thing that i really took away from the myp is very similar to being an open-minded person and it is being a complete individual. There are so many aspects the MYP offers to you that really shape a human being. You know, you've got your IB learner profiles, of course, those are essential, but you've also got so many other extracurriculars that MYP schools offer that really build and shape your personality into a very, very successful person. And I found that that doesn't happen in a lot of other curriculums, especially in the IB where you actually become a sought after individual because companies will gobble your shit up so quick because the IB really is a fantastic curriculum and so is the MYP. The MYP is very, very close to the IB in terms of the person you become once you exit out of the program. So trust me, take the opportunities that the MYP gives you, gobble them up and use them to your advantage to become a more successful, to become a more complete person. Sign up for that extracurricular activity that your buddies are signing up to. You will have a blast and you never know, you might take something away from it that will help you later in life. If there's a music class you've been wanting to go to but you've been a little bit shy, be a risk taker, one of the IB Learner profiles and go try out that after school activity. If your school does something called MUN, participate in it guys. I cannot tell you how beneficial it is. It has helped me improve my public speaking skills. It's probably why I look like a confident crazy person when I'm in public talking to my phone. Guys, I'm not even joking, there are people passing by me giving me the most awkward stares ever. I feel like such a weirdo, but I do not care because it's more important for me that I make this video rather than care what people around me think. I feel like I talk about this almost every single video, but we're gonna talk a little bit about the IB, how the MYP prepares you for the challenges that IB will throw into your face, because trust me, there are many of them. The MYP does a fantastic job of giving you that stepping stone, that level up in order to be successful in the IB. There are statistics that show that students who have successfully passed the MYP are more likely to pass the IB. It is a seven year long investigation that has been going on by the IB and it is an absolutely fantastic thing because I think it is true. The MYP really does prepare you for that next level of your education and you'll be going in there with those skills that you'll be able to use in order to pass one of the most difficult educational programs across the entire globe. The next two things that I took away from the MYP are definitely the importance of social opportunities and time management. If there's one thing the MYP has thrown at me, it has been a load, an absolute load of work. And I've had to take it in and, you know, complete it from e-portfolios to personal projects to other internal assessments. The MYP has really thrown a lot at every single one of its students and that really teaches you the importance of time management and also is the time where you find out that you can't just work, that you have to have a little bit of fun in your routine and explore the social opportunities around you. Because if all you do is work, trust me, you will be tired by the end of those long, long five years. You'll be completely drained. The IB is only a step away from the MYP. So if there's one thing you should take from your MYP journey, it is how to manage your time more effectively and also the importance of having a social life and exploring the world. Look where I am right now. This is a location that I've been meaning to film at for quite some time. This is a super cool location that I found by exploring with my friends alongside finishing my e-work because you know, whole coronavirus situation right now can be in school physically. So yeah, please do your absolute best to get in some social time with your friends. Go for a bike ride, go for a run, go to the movies, take your girlfriend out to the park, go for a picnic, 
do something nice just get in some social time we as humans are very social creatures we're going to be physically mentally and emotionally drained guys i'm going to quickly wrap up this list with the final thing that i took away from the myp which is learning it does not have to be boring it can be fun innovative and enjoyable at the same time within the myp students learn using ipads using their phones using laptops not all work is done in a copy book in a textbook and that in my opinion is fantastic it gives students the opportunity to be creative use their own ways to approach education i feel like that is a fantastic thing the myp does compared to other educational systems so guys i'm not going to bore you any longer if you enjoyed this video i'd be absolutely thrilled if you could drop a like hit that subscribe button turn on notifications to never miss another one of my uploads guys if you've been around here for a while you know that my goal is to hit 100 subscribers by the end of september i know all of you are absolutely amazing and will definitely help me achieve that goal if you guys are feeling extra generous today i'd be super appreciative if you share Share this video around with your friends, help me grow as a channel. And if there's one thing I'd like to leave you with is do not take education for granted because it is the thing that essentially builds your future. So without further ado, I will leave this amazing backdrop and I will see all of you guys later. This is the first time you and I are meeting. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Salem, I'm a student, I'm 16 years old. I decided to start my YouTube journey because I felt like there was a lack of videos on the internet for teenagers, for people like us. It is so important that teens are educated properly in lifestyle, education, how to make the right choices, and most importantly, how they can grow to become an amazing individual with a fabulous personality. Anything I just said even remotely interests you, consider sticking around and watching some of my other videos. I'd be super grateful if you dropped me a follow on Instagram. My Snapchat is, that's my shameless plug for the day done.